Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So let's see what is going on in your love life, Capricorn. Right. I feel like for a lot of you, you are watching the person you are dealing with very carefully. I'm getting the impression here of needing to know every possible thing about this individual. I feel like there's an energy of curiosity coming across from you. I also feel as if you don't really have things planned out as you would like, right? So this seems like the type of energy where you just do whatever comes to your mind or you are very reactive during this time. So very interestingly, what I get from these energies is that, you know, you're either looking for something or looking for, you know, a way in. It could be anything, literally, I'll have to clarify. But I feel like there's a curiosity connected to your energy. There's a real desire to know and establish um, some possible thing at this point in time. What is connecting the two of you? Someone is upset. It's either the two of you are married or in a connection with one another, or there's some sort of connection here that is external to your relationship that is affecting your connection as a whole. I feel like it could also be pointing in the direction of not really knowing if the two of you are going to end up together in an emotionally fulfilling relationship. It's that sort of energy where, you know, you really don't know if the two of you are going to have, you know, that happily ever after situation. I feel like your eyes are on this individual really on a very deep sort of way or in a deep way. This person's energy is indicating a change of character, a change of behavior. There's something about them that's more hands-on. There's something about them that's very different to how they were before. And I feel like you're taken aback by it to a certain extent. That's why you're watching them very closely. This person is either acting out of character or they're just not as they were before. It feels like something has really either shifted or changed. Okay, so let's get some clarity. I feel like this individual is doing things in a very different way. There's something about them, um, you know, changing in some shape or form. There could be another person in this individual's life right now, Capricorn. And I feel like you're taking more notice of them as a result of this. For some of you, you might be in a set of circumstances where, you know, you're witnessing this individual sort of move away. There could be somebody from this person's past that's coming back in. This is a completely random reading. Of course, you know, you never really know when the cards are going to show some sort of randomness or craziness, but that's just how tarot is. And um, I never stick to a specific storyline. Sometimes it just changes up. But it feels as if the person you're dealing with is indicating to me that uh, there's somebody that they, they care about from their past. There's somebody that they're thinking about, somebody that's on their mind. And it could be a person that they want to be with in a relationship. It feels like that. Somebody from their past could be showing up again. You know, I feel like between the two of you, what happened was there could have been a third party situation that was playing out. And someone may have gotten tired of waiting, waiting for the other person to pull up their socks, waiting for the other person to rectify the situation, waiting for the other person to come through for them. This could be your person if you are already married to somebody else, or it could be your person has, um, you know, somebody that they're married to and there's somebody else that's coming through from the past. It's either or. In some cases, it could be both of you. But there's somebody that's showing up for your person from their past. And someone got sick of waiting around. I feel like you're watching this individual very carefully. I feel like you're trying to see what they're really up to. I feel like there's a deep desire to try to establish 
if this individual is, um, you know, wanting to still keep their eye on you, it feels like that sort of energy. You're trying to ascertain if this individual is still into this connection on a certain extent. But I feel like it's difficult here because what I'm noticing from this situation is that there's a sense of your emotions sort of collapsing as you witness this. You know, maybe you didn't anticipate this individual to develop feelings for someone else. Maybe you didn't expect them to go off and start being with another individual. It feels like that sort of energy. It feels like there's a sense of uncertainty in terms of um, thinking that the two of you have each other's back, thinking that the two of you are going to be together for the long haul, and then not really knowing what's going to happen here. But there's devastation, there's sadness, there's emptiness, there's a sense of feeling neglected, feeling as if one is not getting the right amount of attention from the other individual. And uh, if this person has been waiting for you or wanting this connection to be more than what it is already, um, there's a deep sense of sadness about um, you know how you are handling the situation or there's a sadness connecting the two of you. So I feel like there's someone coming into this person's life some of you could be experiencing a lot of emotions that are making you fall apart. Not all of you, right? Uh, so this is a very random reading. But I feel like this individual has a lot of possibilities when it comes to love and happiness. A lot of people that are circling around them, that wants to date them, that wants to be with them, that wants to um, be in a relationship with them. And I feel like there's an energy which is indicating that there's two forces colliding with one another. It feels like it's ego versus uh, the spiritual connection of what the two of you have with each other. I feel like there's a part of you that has uh, experienced this massive collapse. Some of you have stopped talking to this individual. You know, you might have um, cut them out. You might have said you're not going to give them any more attention. You're not going to give them the time of day. And this individual is going off, mingling with other people, talking to other people, getting to know other people, trying to establish if uh, there's, you know, something there. But there's someone from this person's past that could be coming in and wanting to date them or wanting to be in a relationship with them. I do get that possibility. I feel like this person has a lot of pathways open to them. I feel like this individual has a lot of uh, possible individuals that are wanting to be in a relationship with them. But this could be hard for you to uh, cope with, you know. It feels like that sort of energy. I feel like as a result of what this individual is up to, you may decide to cut off communication. Because you may think to yourself, well, somebody else is coming into their life. And, you know, what are you going to do? This individual has other people interested in them. There's there's a lot of energy circula circulating around this person. They could even have an overbearing mother or father that wants to see them in a relationship with someone else. For some of you, not for all of you. It's very interesting to see how the dynamic sort of just changed. I feel like, you know, you have those feelings there, but you really don't know what you should do with them or what you will do with them. I feel like there's an energy of just saying, like, toss it. Some of you are just at that point where you really don't know, you know, if you want to fight for this anymore. Some of you are possibly involved with another person or some sort of situation is playing out here and it's becoming difficult to deal with. I feel like there's that type of energy that is uh, playing a big role. So let's see. What is going on between Capricorn and this person? announcement that is going to be made I feel like there was a lot of hope I feel like someone felt as if the other person was their anchor I feel like 
there's something that you know was either established as a victory at some point in time because these cards are not really making sense the way they've come out but it feels like the type of energy where you know you can't really make sense of what's going to happen next you can't really make sense if this is a win or a loss you can't really make sense if you should just have faith in what's going on this person could be making an announcement that they've hooked up with someone from the past because the two of you can you know get things on the ground or off the ground in the way that they wanted it to i feel like uh, in terms of what was lost there's a sense of sadness about it because uh, someone was feeling very deeply neglected in this situation one person really felt as if they were not being made the priority and they had faith that the two of you would eventually get to that point and i feel like you had faith as well but you're watching this individual and you could be watching them move away really fast and you might not really know you know what's going to happen as a result of it so what i'm going to explore in the extended is what is really going on with your person very unusual set of energies. It feels like they're moving away from the situation. It feels like you're watching them. I feel like on an emotional level, you're probably having, you know, your synapses go off inside of your mind. It's like little mini explosions. And a part of you just wants to cut them off and say, um, I'm not going to talk to you ever again. And then, you know, there's this energy of just feeling like someone let the other person down. Someone devastated the other person, whether that's you that devastated them or it's them that devastated you. But there is a sense of like, you know, wondering what's going to happen next, what's going to happen as a result of this individual moving on with another person. I mean, are you going to be able to deal with that? Because for some of you, yes, 20% of you are not going to care. But I feel like for 80% of you, you're really going to be wondering, you know, at some point in time, because you just severed that bond and you don't really know if it's ever going to come up, if those emotions are buried deep inside of you or they are out of your system, you know. So what I'm going to explore in the extended is your person's mind, heart and soul energy, what's going on with them, what do they really think of you, what's going to happen with this new possible love that's entering their life, is there a way to fix this, should this be fixed, you know, uh, for 20% of you, uh, perhaps you don't really care at the end of the day, and that's okay, but for some of you, you know, you're going to be still thinking like, you know, did this have a proper chance, did it get the proper uh, sort of um, love care and compassion that it needed i feel like that's the question so i hope you guys have enjoyed your reading you can find the link in the description box below have a wonderful day and take care